coronavirus pandemic had a lasting impact on many kids. Virtual learning was a difficult challenge and left some kids unprepared for the next grade level. But having your kid repeat a grade may not be a simple request. Tending your size, Maria Elena Blores talked with one Virginia Beach mom about advocating for your children. Marilena? Well, Stephanie, when Jessica Rojan asked her son, Porter, if he was ready for the sixth grade, he said no. So she talked to his teachers and principal about repeating the grade, and it was a tougher process than she first thought. The frog has a bow, bow tie is actually a reference to Mel Melvin. Meet Porter. See, it's the name Melvin. <laughs> He's a fifth grader in the Virginia Beach school system, a title he'll have again next fall. I asked him if he was ready for sixth grade, and he told me no. And for him to communicate that to me, uh, that was all that I needed. Porter's mother, Jessica Rochin, says virtual learning was tough. With him having autism and ADHD, he's a child that relies on um, stability with scheduling. They both thought it was best to repeat the fifth grade, but that proved to be a challenge. For multiple weeks, Rochin says she went back and forth with Porter's teachers and principal about having him repeat the grade. She says she was repeatedly told no because Porter was completing his schoolwork. But Roshan says he wasn't completing it well. He wrote me a letter on a piece of paper. It, it wasn't in the lines. It wasn't. It was just his letter was still as if he was writing from two years ago. She eventually contacted the State Department of Education and spoke with an attorney who helped her work with the school and let him repeat the grade. But she wants other parents to hear her story. It makes me think about any other children that might have been left behind, um, or that pa have parents that don't know the steps that are needed to advocate for their child's needs. So they know not to take no for an answer. There are multiple options out there. It just takes having to contact the right people and, and to just keep asking why and keep digging. The school recently reached out to Rochin and offered for Porter to repeat the fifth grade, which he is going to do. Jessica and Porter say they're both happy about the decision. In the newsroom, I'm Maria Lanabaloris. Ten on your side. Many businesses